Good morning, you guys. Um, <laughs> morning. I mean, it's 11:30, and it's my morning because I'm a night. I'm a night owl. But um, yeah. So I'm just getting started for the day. Um, so we've been on hiatus because it's been the holidays and we're lazy. I don't know. Just <laughs> because we've been really busy, actually. Um, and real quick, I'm gonna I'm making coffee. So um, with my husband's cup. So we've been busy. Um, I don't really know where to hold the camera. How about that? Um, but busy as busy does, I have a lot to do today. Um, I'm making coffee right now, and then we've got some cleaning up to do. I think I had I'm looking for my pumpkin spice coffee because I really need to get that drink. Oh, here it is. Okay, pumpkin spice. I found it. Sorry, I'm like probably cutting off my head because I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, but yes, so let's make some coffee. Um, I usually make iced coffee, so I like hardly know how this works. Okay, we're gonna make some coffee. I've got, I'm drinking some water um, out of this cup. And um, we, what do I have to do today? Okay, so you can see like we're in the middle of, we've got these, um, these bookcases here. And I'm in the middle of reorganizing them, so there's like stuff all over the place, all over the house. Uh, gotta clean that up and reorganize that. And then, um, what else do we need to do? Need to clean out the fridge, because we're gonna go to Costco today. Um, I've got some new workout leggings from, are they from PopFit? I think they're from PopFit. So I need to try those on and see how they work. Um, my plan is to start doing yoga, um, like four days a week. Um, I currently have something going on with my knee. Like, I think it's like, I don't know, my MCL. It's really dark in here. Let's see if I go, okay, the light's over there. Uh, I don't know if it's like my MCL or whatever, but my knee is like really bothering me. So we're gonna see how that goes. We do have a heated lap pool here. So I might, I was thinking about like trying to use that. See if I can put the camera down and make my coffee because I don't know how people do this one handed. Let me see. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, look, I can put it on top of the Keurig and do this. Okay, so I don't know how. Um, I could probably use the lap pool, the heated lap pool, and just like do some. I don't know, do people do water aerobics or just do some swimming or whatever? Um, but my problem with that is it doesn't have like steps to get into it. And so with my knee hurting, I don't really know how I would get out. Like getting in is really easy, right? You just kind of like slink into it. But how would I get out of it? I don't know. So I've got a lot to think about. Um, oh, that smells so good. Um, put a little cream in there. We're gonna get a little bit of, I think I'm gonna, I have the Lakanto, um, you know what? No. I was going to say, I have Lakanto's caramel syrup. I also have um, this French vanilla stevia from um, Whole Foods. But I just realized we've made it to like the end of fall, the beginning of winter, and I haven't even bothered using this. Um, it's a skinny syrup. It's the pumpkin praline pie. So I think I'm going to use that in my coffee today and see how that goes. Um, I've got pumpkin spice coffee from Target. Nothing too fancy. Just shake this. I'm going to shake it because I feel like it's been sitting for a while. So I'm going to shake it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to pour a little bit of that in there. Because that sounds like a good idea. Um, while I'm just rattling about, update. My hair is a mess. Why you guys let me look like this? Why you guys let me on camera with my hair looking like this? Um, have we been keto? Eh. Depends on the day of the week, I guess. Um, you know, like we just enjoyed the holidays. I know, I know. And it sucks because I'm like that kind of person where I think about eating a carb and I gain weight. And it's totally ha like, look at, look at my chins. My camera's trying to focus because there's so many chins. Uh, 
<laughs> it sucks um, because I definitely gained weight, but I'm not going to be mad about it. Like, it is just what it is. We enjoyed the holidays, um, but the holidays have come to an end, so it is now time to stop enjoying the holidays and to get back to it. I think I need a little more cream than this. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I think I'm just going to add some more cream. Um, so yeah, as James kind of put it to me, like we're, we're about to start season two on our channel. Um, so last year was like our test run. We figured out, we were figuring out a lot of like the kinks of YouTube and like filming and all that stuff. Like we started filming on our cell phones just to see if it was something we wanted to do. And then when we decided we did want to do it, we bought a fancy camera or semi-fancy camera. Um, and we like really got into it, but then um, I have this issue when it's finals at school, I cannot focus on anything else. And as many years as I've been in school, I've tried to like balance finals and everything. And I can't, there's, I, I don't know how, I don't know how I'm not good at it. It's not my thing. So I just give up. So I gave up and then it was Christmas and like I had, I don't know. I just had stuff to do. My look at, oh my God, it's bothering me. Um, so we're getting back on track starting today. Um, so I am going to drink my coffee and organize this bookshelf. And then I need to clean out the fridge so we can go to Costco. I might actually do that in the other order. Clean out the fridge so we can go to Costco when James gets back. And then I'm going to organize the bookshelf because I can do that later as well. So, um, yeah, that's the plan for right now. And I think we're going to check in later. Um, I think we're going to chit chat. Um, probably going to have some tea later, coffee in the morning, tea in the afternoon. And yeah, so I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Oh, actually, I should probably show you what my fridge looks like before I get started. Because I don't think anyone would really believe me. Like, it's a mess. So... We've got a bunch of like cooked food that has probably expired. Well, I don't know. That's actually probably good. That was just meat, breakfast meat. Um, we've got some champs in there. God knows how old this cheese is. There's bagels because some of us like bagels when we're not car when we're not low carb. There's spilled food in here. Right, like this has got to be clean. These condiments, old as dirt. We're just gonna start fresh for the new year. This butter, look at look at buttermilk. That's gotta go. It's December 30, 30th, 31st right now. Everything but the bagel is dead to the world. That's so old. Pineapple, what is that? Pineapple something. Oh, pineapple um, cream cheese. That's old, gotta go. We got orange juice in here. Someone had some Arizona iced tea. We have regular milk. So like, this has gotta get cleaned out because we're done with the carb life for now. We're never gonna be like, Oh, low carb for the rest of my entire life because we're just, that's just not like our lifestyle. We like potato. Well, he likes potatoes. I like bread. So we're never going to be low carb forever and ever and ever. Amen. But I think our overall goal, once we reach goal weight, so like right now we talked about this and we're, you can see the mess. You can see the mess. Okay. So anyway, we talked about <laughs> I need to get on track. We talk about this and like, you know, we have goal weights that we want to reach. But then after we get that, once we get to like maintenance mode, um, our goal is to be 90%, like 90% of the time keto or low carb. And then 10%, you know, just do what you do. Treat yourself. Because if you think honestly that I'm going to go the rest of my entire life without ever having pineapple or mango again. Nope. You, you've got the wrong channel because um, that's never going to happen. So like trying to be realistic and even this, like even before we get to maintenance mode, trying to get to ideal weight, that doesn't mean that there's never going to be a day where we're just like, or a time where it's just like, oh, I really want to eat banana today or whatever. Like I love a smoothie, so it's hard to get a keto smoothie around here. I know we have a smoothie king and they do have keto smoothies, but it's still, it's like 15 carbs for a smoothie. Like that's a lot if you're trying to stick to 20, which I, oh, we'll talk about this later. I don't, my goal is not 20 carbs and under. It's a little bit higher than that, but that's still a lot. It's a lot. So we'll see. We'll talk about it. Um, 
I can't take away everything that is beloved in life and call that my entire life. And I know that's probably an unhealthy food relationship, but sorry, I keep staring at the viewfinder because it keeps trying to focus. And I think it's trying to focus on the mess behind me, but here I am distracting it and it's like constantly trying to focus and it's really distracting me. Anyway, um, I have been rambling for like 10 minutes and I wasn't supposed to be doing that. I was just showing you that I'm making coffee and I'm about to clean up and then we're gonna go to Costco. So we'll probably show you um, what we got at Costco and um, some more of our cleaning today. So, all right, sayonara. No, that was terrible. Don't say sayonara. How about, okay, see you later. Hello. Uh, I left you a while ago, but we're back. We went to Costco, cleaned out the fridge. I did not get to the books. And by the way, that syrup that I put in the coffee was delicious. Um, yeah, so we went to Costco. We got a lot of the things that we almost always get because we're not um, meal planners. Like we don't plan our monthly menu in advance or anything. Sometimes I'll do a week at a time, but we only grocery shop once, so. That's not how this works. We pretty much eat the same food all the time, so we pretty much just buy the same food all the time. Um, very occasionally I'll want like a special recipe and we'll go buy all the stuff for that. So you guys are used to seeing what you're seeing here. So I actually just wanted to point out a couple of things that we got that we don't normally get from Costco. Um, so this was something that I found. This, um, Chocolatey sampler. Um, it even has a pairing guide on the back. Um, it has a pairing guide on the back for I don't know what a, like cheeses and wines and stuff that you can pair with it. I don't really care about that. We have lots of cheese. I'm pretty much just gonna mix this all up. Probably gonna make some little um, like um, what's it called the um, the meal prosciutto's. No, like the um, the portion the portion things. Oh. Snacks. You know what? <laughs> Those things we have up there. I don't know what they're called. They're like, um, anyway, it's like little Tupperware that has like little portioned things. So I'm probably going to um, get these with some nuts. I got some pistachios um, and things and some cheese and put that and make those for lunches. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. I've never seen this at Costco before. Um, another thing that has been fabled to be at Costco, but has not been at my Costco until just now. So finally gonna try the folios. I hope they're good. I don't really know. Um, lightly baked sheets of cheese. So we're gonna find out. So this is gonna be, I mean, I don't know. We're gonna wrap a bunch of stuff in cheese folios. <laughs> I'm excited about those. Um, we got some flowers. We don't normally get flowers at Costco. They smell really good. I don't know, can you see all those? They're beautiful. I'm gonna put them in, I'm probably gonna put them in my thankful vase. That's this one that I made myself. I just wanted to show that off because I made it myself and it's really awesome. <laughs> um, probably gonna put those in there. Um, do we get anything new on this side? That's pretty much standard stuff that mm -hmm. we always get. We did get, we um, don't normally buy this, the rice cauliflower. Um, because we usually just buy that one rice. But... Yeah, but I'm like, I don't know. I feel like you can make a lot more dishes this way, like quicker, faster. Probably. Yeah. Um, haven't bought wisps in a long time. Not necessarily new, but like I just haven't bought any, bought in, I haven't purchased any in a very long time. I love that. So Sabrina, can you explain why we got guacamole and avocado? I can, but can we just go in order? Sure, come back to it. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Whatever. Um, I think I talked about this last time. My Costco, the one that's like closest to me, so it's like mine, they hadn't carried this before. And the last time I went, or two times ago, we went to the far away Costco because they always carry it. And then come to find out, as soon as we w went all the way to the far away Costco, our Costco decided to start carrying these. So whatever, but I mean, now they're at my Costco, so good times. So these are my sausages. I love those. I, there's a little bit of sugar in them, but I don't really care. Um, <laughs> 
Yes. So let's see. This stuff we get all the time. The cheeses. We got an assortment of cheeses that we almost never get. So we got paneer, which is like, I think it's an Indian or is it Mediterranean? It says Indian on the door. Is it Indian? <laughs> it's Indian cheese. Um, we're gonna experiment with this. Maybe fry it up or something. Yeah. This is the $10 experiment, but two pounds of cheese for $10. Not bad, huh? Mm -hmm. So we got that. One pound of cheese for $10. I got, it was not $10. It was, eight, it was $8.23. I got this. It says it pairs with full body red wines. Which we can drink. I don't drink red wine, but whatever. <laughs> Dutch bike. So <laughs> I, I guess it's its own thing. I've never actually heard of this before, but it is, it has it's cheese with hints of Gouda, Swiss, and Parmesan in it. So I'm excited to try this and I'll probably chunk some of this up and put it in with the charcuterie stuff. Um, but we'll see. I don't know what it tastes like yet. I um, got the brie because I just like to eat brie. He loves brie. I want to eat it raw. Raw? Well, without cooking it or adding anything or pairing it, just eat the cheese. Oh, I got you. Um, Plain, I guess. I got you. Just as is. Okay. Mm -hmm. We, I did pick up some of this. Zatiki. Zatiki. Tatsiki. Yeah, that's not how you say dip, it. Dip. Um, to go with, I thought he had gotten cherry tomatoes, but he did not. But to go with cucumbers and peppers and celery and really anything else you can think of to dip. Just slice into the it. tomatoes small. I, I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> and uh, we'll talk about this. So we got the avocado mash and we got the guacamole. The reason why I got both is because I couldn't decide and James told me to get both. Yeah, I was actually gonna come forth and say that, but it's a joke. So I like how you tried to frame me there. You tried to set me <laughs> up like it was my fault. But why did you want both? Because I couldn't decide. Sometimes you're in the mood for a little guac and sometimes you just want the plain avocado, but I pretty much use them the same way all the time. Yeah. Anyway, okay. um, and then the last two things that are awesome, they have Rayos, Rouse, wow. I really don't know how to say this. It's Rouse. But they have this at Costco in a two pack for $10.79. And me and the cashier were having a geek moment about it because if you go to the regular grocery store, it's like between $6.99 and $8.99, depending on where you go and what's on sale, um, for Freaking. one. Mm -hmm for one of these. So for two of them for $10.79, and that's not even a sale price at Costco, like I probably could have waited until it was on sale. But like, that is amazing, because everybody knows that these are like the best for when you're low carbing and don't want to make it yourself. Um, so I got that, and then also this. So our cashier's wife is keto, so he knows like all the stuff. So um, we are completely out of any sort of um, sweetener. And I usually like, I kind of go back and forth between erythritol and monk fruit, which Lakanto is a mix of the two, so hey. Um, this was, I think it was $8.99, mm -hmm. which is way cheaper than it is on even Lakanto's site. So got a pack of that as well. And this is my first time buying that from Costco. And I just heard a rumor that some Costco's are going to be selling Sola bread. So hopefully that comes down to our Costco. It's up in the Northeast right now, not down here. Um, so yeah, that is this whole thing, including somewhere we got um, paper towels. Um, all of that was our purchase from Costco today. And we spent $420. Yeah. Um, I mean, our typical food budget is $500 a month. Uh, which I know is kind of high, but I like food. So my food budget is high and I have a lot of other budgets that are not high and I'm kind of bougie. <laughs> so we just have a high food budget and it's fine. It works. Um, we're not like destitute because we spend $500 and I honestly, we don't spend $500 a month on food. Typically it's around three. 375 but I just like to have that stretch in case I want to buy all of this stuff um, so yes that was that's our haul so we're gonna get back into it y'all holidays are over a, f a few days we got to finish out what we got I mean okay sure yeah just to be real and it is all done it was previously just like a hodgepodge like you saw of stuff everywhere and we kind of organized it. We got DVDs at the top. 
We've got books at the bottom and some tchotchkes sprinkled about. A little bit of decor, seasonal decor, if you will. So yeah, it looks a lot better and it's a lot calmer now. Okay, so we finished the book self. Just, just showed you a picture of that. Um, it looks a lot better. It's so much cleaner and nicer and all that stuff. Um, we saw our Costco haul. And now I'm just having tea because I like tea. This is not like an official tea with Brie episode, um, but I feel compelled to show you my mug anyway. Um, it's like my Christmassy mug. Um, and then I don't know, can you see without me spilling my tea? Ah, spilling the tea. Um, on the inside it says ho, ho, ho. Um, yeah. So, mm. but since we're doing that, I'm not gonna give you a whole spiel about it, but this is one of my, um, one of those Target specialty teas that I had. Um, this one is called Juniper Mint Honey. Um, it's really good. It smells really good. And of course, I'm an oversteeper. Like, this has been steeping for like 15 minutes already. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm having right now. As we're gonna get ready for the new year and you're actually gonna this is gonna be uploaded on New Year's Day So happy new year friends and fam um, Well, let's just say fam because you're all fam at this point anyone watching this is family. So happy new year family um, Yeah, so I don't really have a lot left to say I'm thinking um, yeah, so I am, after this, I'm actually going to film really quickly, um, me opening all of our fun mail that we have. Like, we have a bunch of, like, packages that haven't been opened. Um, it's about to be Christmas again in this house. So, I think I talked about earlier about, like, the pants, and, um, I got a fun box that I really want to share with you guys. So, yeah, that's going to be the next video after you see this one. I don't know when it's going to go up, probably in two days, but look out for that and I think James said he was gonna cook something uh, you know we're gonna get back into it we're gonna do this we're gonna have a great we're gonna do keto 365 that's gonna be our hashtag again this year um, yeah okay so cheers and we'll see you guys in the new year <laughs> I don't know I'm being silly at this point all right um, see you guys later